The process looks like this typically. It's done in a backyard. They'll take a battery, they'll take an ax to it, they'll chop the top, um, kind of rip open the top of the battery, they'll dump out the acid, typically just on the dirt, and then they'll remove the plates and um, essentially remelt them down in an open furnace. And the process um, releases lead dust. Um, and lead dust is particularly dangerous to children and it's particularly dangerous when it's done in residential communities where kids are playing all day, where uh, pregnant mothers are. It is the number one pollution source that we identify in the world. The informal recycling of these takes place in every city, in every low and middle income country, uh, with very few exceptions. If you and I saw these batteries, we would call them all car batteries. Um, in fact, they do not all go in cars. Anytime that there is a cell tower, at the base of that tower is a stack of you know, 10 or 50 of these batteries. And then in a lot of countries that experience power outages, every family will have a small stack of these batteries as just simply backup power. Um, and the reason that this informal recycling is so prevalent in so many communities is because lead is quite valuable now. And the process of removing the lead from these batteries and melting it back into bars to sell to battery manufacturers is not one that requires any particular education or training. If you're doing this out of subsistence, if this is your only choice for feeding your family, and you're not aware of the risks that you're creating, then it makes sense you know, from an individual standpoint to do this. All it takes is a little bit of knowledge about batteries and what's inside them and the health effects of lead and then you know, your daily life of seeing this process to put two and two together and say, there's a problem here.